Well, 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 would you look who it is? What's a pathetic loser like you doing out here so late? Isn't it way past your bedtime? Uh, it's not really any of your business, but I was kept late taking care of some business at my house. You know, events don't just plan themselves, you know. See, I have a reason to be out here. But you're just kind of sitting out here like a weirdo. People are definitely going to think you're a total freak if they saw you being all creepy, staring up into the distance on the bench over here. Now, shoo, go sit in your dorm and stare into space as much as you want. Just stop terrorizing the public with your presence, okay? Oh, you're going to talk back to me. This is new. Where did the sudden confidence boost come from? You normally just take it when I tease you. Like some kind of masochist. You just want to be left alone, huh? And what if I don't feel like leaving you alone? Huh. I've been bullying you. I mean, I know I've been picking on you a little bit, but I'd hardly call that bullying. I don't be a wimp. I mean, yeah, there was that time I dumped water balloons on you from the dorm balcony. Come on, that was just funny. It's not like I ever did anything to actually hurt you. Why, why are you looking at me like that? Oh, hey. Chill out, okay? You're taking this way, way too seriously. What are those that just fell out of your jacket? Too slow. Now let's see, how do you pronounce? Benzodiazepine, fluoro, oxyacetamine. That's just Tylenol. What the heck are those other two, though? Actually, Better question, why are you just carrying around a bunch of pills hanging around outside at one o'clock in the morning? Well, I think it is my business since I'm the one who caught you acting all suspicious. Your whole behavior is just totally off. Not just today either, you haven't been to class the last few days. I haven't even seen you in the library and you're normally the strongest worker there. What happened to the, the meek, dedicated nerd I used to know? Nah, -uh, you're not getting these back. I don't know what your plan was, but I do not trust you with them now. Start talking. Hey, I said no, you idiot. Stop. Hey, watch it. You finally decided to wake up, huh? You were in my dorm. You tripped and hit your head on the bench. Sorry, I shouldn't laugh. You, you're welcome, by the way. I, I didn't think you would have wanted me to call someone, but I didn't know what else to do. So I ended up just dragging you all the way to my room. If someone had seen us, I think I would have literally died from embarrassment. While you're out, I did a little bit of research. I didn't know you were taking antidepressants. I mean, why would I know? It's not, not like we're close or anything, but... Still, you never really struck me as someone who would need to take them. All right, don't get all sarcastic with me. I noticed that your mum has been trying to call you. Why is she trying to reach you so late? What did he say to her? The reason why he had those bottles with you? What exactly were you going to do? Mix together some kind of drug cocktail and take the easy way out? Is that it? It is, isn't it? 
Seriously, you're just going to go out like that? Why? I know we're not friends or anything, but... Jeez, if you plan to an ending it... You might as well give an explanation to somebody. Did I have anything to do with it? Okay, I see. So, I, I, I didn't really help the situation. But, if I'd have known you were depressed and have anxiety, I would have gone a little easy on you. I, no, not not because I would have pitied you. It's, it's because it's just... I was trying to toughen you up a little bit to, to get you to actually stand up for yourself. I'm not the only one who kicks you around. I've seen how other people... They take advantage of you. But yeah, maybe I was a little more extreme than others, but I was just trying to get you to fight back. Um, there definitely are people who do remember how that guy who sits in front of you in algebra makes you let him copy your homework every day. Or that other student who practically always makes you stay longer to finish up the work that they were supposed to do. I mean, yeah, it might not seem that bad, but you can't just let people treat you any type of way. Yeah, in comparison, I guess I am a lot worse. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I was trying to indirectly help you. Clearly it had the opposite effect. I guess that goes to show that you should be careful how you treat other people since you never really know what they could be going through. I know I picked on you a lot, but I never wanted you to feel like this. No, I definitely don't hate you. I, I, I kind of admire you, in fact. I wish I had the amount of dedication that you have towards anything, really. When I call you a dedicated nerd, it's actually kind of a compliment. So, you know, you're going to have to talk to somebody about this, right? I know you probably need to take these prescriptions, but I also don't really feel safe just giving them back to you after what you just told me. So honestly, I really don't know what to do. We need to get some help from someone who does. Why don't you start by calling your mum back? She's got to be worried sick by now. And okay, I know it's late, but if you want to stay up a little longer and watch a movie or something, I could get you something to drink too. I have soda or some tea. Pretty warm out, but I have some hot chocolate too. Whatever you want. Sounds good. I'll get you some. And also, stay strong. Alright, nerd? <laughs>